Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a January favorites video. I used to do such videos, I guess two years back on my channel and I was so regular with these videos. But somehow these videos used to not do that well on my channel so I stopped doing them. But now I'm back with my monthly favorites again. Do let me know if you guys like watching such videos. Should I continue doing monthly favorites? Let me know in the comment section below. So before we begin with today's video, please make sure that you guys have subscribed to my channel please subscribe for more beauty fashion and lifestyle related videos and also all of the products that i will be talking about in today's video will be mentioned in the description box below as usual so please don't forget to check that out and now let's get right into the video hey, with skincare first because I just have very few favorite skincare products in the month of January. So this is the Dot & Key Vitamin C Glow Sleeping Mask. This is how it looks like. I've used their water sleeping mask in the past and I absolutely love that sleeping mask. It's almost about to get over and I'm really happy that I have this one as well. This is not just a January favorite but I've been using it since 2-3 months and I'm absolutely loving it. I just lather this all over my face before going to bed and the next morning I wake up with really really plump skin. So this retails for 1095 rupees. I'm not sure if it's worth that price tag but um, yeah you can always get discounts on Nykaa as well as on Dot & Key's website. You guys can use my coupon code. I'm gonna leave it on the screen. You guys can get a 10% off. The next product is by Mother Sparsh and it's their plant powered under eye recovery gel. This is how it looks like. So I've been using this eye cream since December I guess and I also reviewed these, I also reviewed Mother Sparsh products on my Instagram. So yeah this is that one product that I'm absolutely loving by this brand. It's not something which will like make your under eyes disappear completely but it does help with de-puffing and it just like smoothens your under eyes if you have really fine lines and a lot of creases under your eyes I definitely do have so I really like using this eye cream the only eye cream that has not irritated my eyes at all so I absolutely love this the next product is a facial oil so my skin was like going through a lot after I came back from Udaipur um, in January and my skin was so dehydrated it was definitely because of traveling uh, it was very dry and very very dehydrating so a moisturizer was definitely not working for my face at all so I started using the Nykaa Apricot Kernel Cold Press Oil every single day before going to bed and also um, after taking a shower like I used to apply a few drops on my face it did not make my skin dry at all because obviously it's an oil but I'm absolutely like in love with this product I love using this uh, mixed with my foundation with my primer or just like before doing my makeup and I also love this for its skincare purposes I haven't obviously seen any uh, visible difference in my skin but I just love how moisturizing it is I have a favorite foundation and it's by Lotus it's the Lotus Pro Edit Silk Touch Perfecting Foundation I'm in the shade 5 Coco this is how it looks like so last month I guess Lotus sent me a lot of their makeup products and some of the products were like mind-blowing literally all of the products were mind-blowing I wasn't expecting them to be so good um, and this foundation is like genuinely really really good I've been using this a lot nowadays so this is basically a very dewy glowy sort of a foundation it would make your skin look very very healthy um, it's definitely not something that oily skin people would like because it's very shiny so if you have dry skin then you will love this foundation I usually don't wear this foundation on its own I mix it with my other matte foundations and it gives me the most beautiful finish I have it on my face today as well and you guys can see it makes your skin look very very healthy so the saddest part about this foundation is their shade range I guess they only have 5-6 shades and I'm the last shade also like this shade is I guess a shade lighter for my skin tone so yeah the shade range is a bummer if you are someone with lighter skin tone then you can use this foundation but if you are darker than me then you will not find your shade it's very very sad that they don't have shades in this foundation because this foundation is really really good the next I have a few e.l.f. products if you guys haven't seen my first impressions video on e.l.f. cosmetics 
then you guys can click somewhere here and watch that video so i guess i bought these products somewhere like in the first week of january and i have been loving these two products by elf the first one is the elf wow brow uh, this is like a brow mascara it's something that you can use to set your eyebrows and i have been absolutely loving this it is such a great product for an everyday use and i have it on my eyebrows today it has microfibers in it if you guys can see some microfibers in it which like gives you very fuller brows and it's literally like the best brow product that i've used till date i really really love it um i do feel that elf products are very overpriced but the products are genuinely really really good the next product is the elf monochromatic multi stick and this is how it looks like uh this is in the shade luminous berry this literally looks like children's makeup it is so like plasticky and like kids makeup sort of a thing but it is so beautiful um it is like a monochromatic stick that you can use this is how the shade looks like by the way uh this is something that you can use on your cheeks your eyes as well as on your lips i personally don't feel like it's good for your lips because it's very shiny and metallic so you guys can see it's reflecting so beautifully you can use this on your cheeks and i like specifically love this to use on my on the high points of my face it's a beautiful subtle highlighter and a blush as well because it has some sort of pigment in it also it reminds me of my mac extra dimension blush that one is like a powder blush this one is sort of like a stick version of that blush it is so beautiful it gives you so much shine and so much dimension on your face i definitely love this product then i have a few lipsticks like my favorite lipsticks of this month has to be the k beauty matte drama lipsticks i think they launched these lipsticks in december only and i've been using this lipsticks non stop so i've been using these two shades specifically a lot this month this one is in the shade muse this is like a nice a uh, cool toned brown nude that i have and then i have the shade wrap up this is how it looks like it's a beautiful uh, brown sort of a brick shade and these two are my favorite shades like i've been mixing them both a lot and today i'm wearing the shade the shade head turner this is like a pink toned red shade they have beautiful reds in their collection so definitely check k beauty lipsticks they're so 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 amazing then i've also been using the lacme matte melt liquid lip color in the shade natural nude this is again something that i've been using since december i guess november december and i'm absolutely loving it Uh, even today i have this lipstick mixed with the k beauty one and i absolutely love it it's such a beautiful everyday uh nude sort of a color this is how it looks like it is very very natural and this specific shade is my favorite now moving on to hair care products i've recently started oiling my hair before washing them and i'm absolutely loving the results my favorite hair oil has to be by from ray naturals is they sent me their coconut oil and the castor oil this is how it looks like and they also sent two of their uh, essential oils i've been loving the tea tree one it helps with dandruff a lot and it like just smells so calming So I've been loving the combo of these um hair oils. So basically it's like a kit and you mix the coconut and the castor oil both together with equal amounts and then you just add a few drops of the essential oils and then you apply it on your hair. I'm really loving the results that these hair oils have given. Literally my entire family is using these hair oils. My mom, my dadi, my sister like everyone's using this. and we all are absolutely loving it i'm definitely going to repurchase these uh, once it gets over so these are definitely a must try from my side i highly highly recommend these to you then for my hair i've been really loving these uh, raga professional products they sent me a kit of their shampoo conditioner and serum the shampoo conditioner is in my bathroom so i'm just going to insert a picture um and this is how the serum looks like all three products are so amazing my conditioner recently like got over and the shampoo is also about to get over i've been using them throughout the month and i'm loving the results 
सो दिस सीरम इज द प्रो बोटेनिक्स ऑफ फ्रिज कंट्रोल एडवांस शाइन सीरम दिस इज हाउ इट लुक्स लाइक दीज प्रोडक्ट्स स्मेल सो अमेजिंग दे हैव अ रियली नाइस फ्रूटी सेंट इट गिव्स यू लाइक द परफेक्ट सैलॉन एक्सपीरियंस आई एम गोन लीव अ लिंक ऑफ द प्रो ऑफ द एंटायर किट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो डू चेक इट आउट द शैम्पू इज ऑल्सो लाइक श्योरली रियली अमेजिंग आई हार्डली एवर अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन लाइक डिफरेंट शैम्पूज बिकॉज एवरीथिंग जस्ट फील्स द सेम but this entire like hair range is just amazing i've seen amazing results next i have two favorite scents of this month the first one is by zara and it's the zara women rose gold perfume this is how it looks like this is something that i received as a secret santa gift from a friend and i've been loving this perfume so much it has it has a really nice uh, floral scent i'm someone who likes only fruity scents but this scent is again like so amazing and it's super long lasting whenever i wear this perfume so many people ask me what perfume i'm wearing so this is like the greatest compliment and i'm really really loving this perfume the next one which i've been carrying in my bag everywhere is by nika it's the masaba by nika uh, perfume and it's in the variant uptown girl so these are like the mini pocket perfumes that i had received i guess last month and this one is my favorite you guys you guys can see i've used so much of it it's almost about to get over this one literally smells like fresh mogras and it's just beautiful i love this scent as i said i never really wear floral perfumes but i don't know this month i've just been wearing these two perfumes so this is it for today's video i hope you guys found the video helpful please let me know if you guys want me to create more of these monthly favorites video let me know in the comment section below and also all of these products are linked in the description box below so don't forget to check it out also please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon beside it to get notified whenever i upload a new video i will see you guys in my next video bye